this is Trisha Schmalhofer here with BAM, badasses, <laughs> alchemists, and mystics. I am here in the studio today with the lovely, dynamic, vibrationally fabulous Alicia Connor. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So today um, we're going to talk about resetting frequency <laughs> and raising the frequency in the human body and vortex energy. Doesn't that sound cool and badass? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Alicia, I've met you, gosh, how long? Two years, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I when we worked together, um, we both worked with doTERRA oils, and Alicia just gave me a whole different perspective on essential oils. Um, and she talks a lot about the megahertz of the different oils, and... It really helped me. I already, uh, I've been using essential oils for years, as so have you. And we both kind of settled on doTERRA, I think for the same reasons. It just, I knew right away that they were different. Yes. They worked a lot quicker with my clients. They smelled different than other can oils. You use less. You can use less. Mm -hmm. And that was before I even really knew anything about them. And um, when I met her and we started talking about them in this sense of uh, frequency and megahertz and how each oil, what it does and with the frequency of it, I was just blown away and so impressed with her. Uh, so Alicia, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. This is exciting. It is exciting. And we're also going to talk about something else she does, which is just badass and cool. It's called Biosyntony. And there are these little discs that help change vortex energy. And um, she's gonna, we're really gonna get into that as well. Uh, we encourage people that are listening on Facebook Live to let us know that you are here with us. And if you have any questions about what we're talking about, please post them because we will answer them um, intermittently. So Alicia, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you, what do you wanna open with? Well, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. And uh, if you have not had a treatment with uh, Trisha, I would highly recommend it. It was a life-changing experience for me. And uh, that was my first, our first meeting, I think. Actually, yeah, right? you, you came in for a craniosacral That's session. Right. Actually, a friend of ours uh, bought you a gift certificate, for right? For my birthday, that's yeah, right. Yeah, and that's you right. came in, and oh, that's wonderful. It was a big... And actually, I thought I was getting a massage, so I kept waiting for her to give me a gown to change into. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that wasn't good. fully clothed, get on the table. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So whatever, let her at the helm, and you'll be have amazing results you're in amazing good hands results yes and i yes. say the same about you oh, thank anyone you. who comes to either of us is in good hands thank you yeah yes i hear you well i'm uh let's talk about frequencies because i think everything that we're going to be talking about today whether it's oils Go or biosynthony or anything like that let's so, define that yeah, yeah so, what is frequency uh, well frequencies in the human and in oils is measured uh, by megahertz and so we have to look at what is normal frequency for a human being mm -hmm, and I do mm -hmm. find it interesting that uh, several people have made uh, the numbers change a little bit along the way and I think did they use the Rife machine did they use it? what are they using that the numbers uh, might be a little bit different have changed right so for the most part uh, 62 to 68 megahertz everyone agrees on uh, 62 megahertz is the beginning of for a human frequency it's going to Go to 68. Some people believe 62 to 72, but let's just stick with the 60s. Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, that's normal human frequency. And then when you have a cold or if you have a, you know, just let's just say a snivel, a little cold, uh, you're, you're going to go down to like 58 megahertz. But when you have a flu, mm -hmm. it's going to drop another two numbers or so. You know, you're going to be 57 to 55. Um, and then... When the big C word, I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. don't want to give it any power, yes. uh, sets in, you're you're already in the 40s. At 25 megahertz, the death process begins. Mm. So, and it's almost like, and any of you who have ever been with a loved one when they're passing, mm -hmm. it is like a light going out. I, and, my mom, I was with her. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm, this is, I actually had the privilege of, after she passed, putting my hands on her mm. 
and feeling her craniosacral rhythm and her energy field. And it literally, if I had something to measure it, I would say every few seconds, things just kind of, I could feel things just kind of go down. And her craniosacral rhythm stayed on. That's mm. the pulse in the nervous system. Okay. Even after she was dead for about 20 minutes. Oh, wow. And she still had energy frequency running through her body even after she was clinically dead. And then it's almost like this last little spark left and it everything was quiet. And that's interesting that you would share that because I have a friend that we've, you know, had a great conversation on how people can see themselves looking down on themselves. And, yeah. And, and so she said, so our energy didn't stop when they called it no it's continuing as you're it's definitely continuing yeah. Yeah. at least 20 25 minutes in my in her her experience you know that's really amazing that you had it was a gift that she gave me yeah how many people can <laughs> say they they and i probably need to write about it or record it somewhere yes because there's not a lot of people that have had that privilege of experiencing that yes. so yes and you know Thanks, that, there's Mom. another thing that we ha both have in common that i didn't realize and, and that, that i've had i've been blessed enough to be with too many people to count uh, during their passing and have and now have people ask me can you come and anoint my loved one with oils and yep. be here for this yep uh, so it, it, and it, I find it comforting and honored that they would ask me it I don't find anything disturbing about it I know some of you <laughs> may <laughs> kind of roll your eyes and go woo. you know I do <laughs> <But> Akashic <laughs> record soul readings and there's some souls that specialize in life and death transition it's like and you that just may be you you can help them do the transitional state especially since you're so keyed into frequency um, because really it is a frequency shift isn't it yeah maybe that is really what it is yeah I'm so blown away with what you shared though that it was uh, almost another 25 minutes and yeah that's like almost the missing piece for me I'm like why do they can they still see if, if they're calling it, it and because there's still a part of them that's still alive and active yes yeah. yes yeah wow fascinating and remind me to tell you another part of that story that's probably a little out there for the show okay <laughs> <laughs> it's more in the lines of the shamanic world, but that might be another show okay, um, right. of what happened <laughs> after that. But anyway, <laughs> to be continued. Um, so frequency. Okay. So, so the different megahertz of the human body. Um, right, right. So can it ever get above 68? Mm. Uh, Would it even be healthy to get it above? Uh, yes. And there are people who are in the low 70s. Uh, okay. And so who are those people and why? So mm. uh, the population i can only speak for this country i, I don't right. know what the rest of the world is doing but we are so uh, trained to be on the run and eat fast food mm -hmm. and canned vegetables now canned food has zero megahertz zero nothing nothing to attribute to you to your body to your well-being uh, f whereas fresh produce salads 25 megahertz so that automatically would raise your frequency. Um, prayer raises your frequency. Um, singing raises your frequency. Mm -hmm. uh, negative Nellies. Mm. You know how sometimes you have you might have an acquaintance or a mm -hmm. friend that you just like, oh, you know, they just bring you down. They're just so negative. And they about literally it. do bring you down. Well, they do. They're and, your and they're frequency. probably the friend who gets sick all the time also mm -hmm. because they're their own worst enemy, mm -hmm. you know. Instead of going... There's a, a path that we're on, and there's obstacles that are put in your path to let you experience something to grow from, mm -hmm. and you can't get pulled down as if it's the end of the world. It's just for the moment right? for, for you to learn something. I would imagine that throughout our day, our frequency, uh, the megahertz, goes up and down like a graph because if you do get bad news or you are around something that's kind of bringing you down and then you sniff uh, rose oil <laughs> the highest megahertz <laughs> frequency oil out there that's right that's right and rub that all over you yeah. actually um, and this is interesting that we have the lowest frequency and the highest frequency to oils on our table I thought and we did isn't bergamot the lowest uh, basil, basil is yeah yeah and we didn't even plan that. I didn't know what you were bringing, and you didn't know what well, I was bringing. Well, and basil, and I'm holding <laughs> it up. It's the doTERRA brand basil. Mm. But um, why I – this has now become one of my favorites because of something you taught me. Oh. That you said putting a dab of this on each adrenal gland, yes. which you can get to it through your – kind of like your upper, lower back 
Yeah, around put your here. hands on your waist and That's close to where your where thumbs your thumb are. Is. Yeah. So almost every morning I put a dab there mm. because adrenals really are uh, under a lot of strain in today's world. So basil. Uh, can help yeah. your adrenal yeah. glands and rosemary oil can also but I usually don't recommend it without knowing the person well mm -hmm. or having an appointment with them because rosemary oil can raise your blood pressure yes uh, you know it could also make your hair grow back in thicker but people who use it like they're out of control three six times a day because they want well, all of a sudden their face is beat red and they're, and they're right you know so <coughs> and that, that goes to show, and I guess we should say our little disclaimer now, is that, you know, what we're talking about with these essential oils is not medical advice. It is our experience and our um, perspective about these oils that since we've used them in our practices and in our life, this is what we know about them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of oils that can do similar things in the body, and it's they're not supposed to be used in really huge amounts. doTERRA specifically is very potent. Yes. So we're talking about a drop One here. One drop. Yeah. Not like, oh, let me use half the bottle and, you mm, know. Mm. Well, let's address that right now. Okay. <clears throat> I've used oils for 30 years, and I, I'm not going to mention other brands. That's not my thing, but... Um, Oils that are sold at the health food store are managed or, or regulated, excuse me, by the FDA. Mm -hmm. And they say 100% pure on the front of the bottle. So when I was in my favorite health food store and, and the representative for that brand happened to be there, I said to them, is it true that you only have 10% of the actual oil in this bottle? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, no, 10 to 30%. Uh -huh. And I said, well, wait a minute. Why, do you, why don't you not publish 100% pure on the front of the bottle so that you're not lying to me? Right. And he said, no, 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 if that's what the FDA requires, mm. if as long as you have 10 to 30 percent of the actual oil in the bottle, you can, we ask you and demand that you put 100 percent pure. So you'll see 100 percent pure on every bottle in the health food store. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was quite an eye opener uh, for me. I had already fallen in love with doTERRA. I already knew instinctively as well as you and I, because we've had this conversation. Mm -hmm. We both knew immediately that it was different from anything else that we'd ever used before. Mm -hmm. uh, and you didn't need to use as much. And uh, it, it was it's amazing without the fillers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and so the other 70 percent, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and think they have 30 percent in the other 70 percent are fillers mm -hmm. so and I, I, I my disclaimer is uh you know the FDA would like to muzzle me <laughs> because mm -hmm. I'm not compliant which what they would like us to say is this oil will give you a sense of well-being right well it doesn't tell you crap you know right so uh <clears throat> yeah or it may help with the immune system. You know, there's certain words you can say, and it's usually like it may, or sometimes, you know, there's just different things. And so yeah. that is why um, when I smelled a doTERRA lavender, as opposed to a, n a couple other brands of lavender, when I first smelled doTERRA, I was like, oh my gosh, this just smells totally different because it it is pure it is lavender. Pure. Yeah. 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 So... Yeah. Well, great. So what other, since we have our whole little line of doTERRA here, <laughs> what else? Um, I know frankincense uh, is one of my favorites. Um, uh, it's known as boswellia as well. You'll find that in a lot of supplements, especially Ayurvedic supplements. But I'll do a couple drops under my tongue. Um, I keep it on my, d my little vanity table and I'll just do it but yeah. um, I use this a lot in my uh, body work practice beautiful um, yeah so that's one of my favorites rose we already talked about I just I use that all the time well uh, let's talk about the frequency of these but before <coughs> we do that let's just remind everybody that you have to have reverence and respect uh, for essential oils they're powerful mm. uh, you can't just spit in the wind and say woo, you know I'm gonna do a whole bottle of this. Uh, so have reverence. It, meet with someone like Trisha or myself that can teach you how to responsibly yes. use these oils, especially once once you figure out what they're capable of, your entire family will be using them. And uh, But I do think it's important that you have reverence and, and, and respect for them. And they can be done aromatically. So you can put a drop in the palm of your hand, rub the palms of your hands together, and cup it over your nose and mouth, and three deep inhales. Well, now it's just gone through the olfactory system and has already affected you. Or put a few drops in a diffuser. That's aromatically. Topically, 
uh, on a particular area that you're having issues with mm -hmm. or, or on the bottom of the feet, right? We have 7,000 nerve endings on the bottom of each foot. So by putting an oil on the bottom of your feet, it goes into your blood system in 30 seconds. Yep. The only way you can get it to go any faster would be under your tongue, right? If someone's had a heart attack and they're carrying nitroglycerin around with them, they're told that if you think something's happening, put one under your tongue. Well, that under the tongue goes into your blood system in 20 seconds. Right. So... That's why in supplement world, there's sublingual supplements or homeopathy uses under the tongue a That's lot. Right. That's well, right. Well, and, you know, like you said, with reverence, because some people that really get into oils at first without the education overdo it. And they're just every smell is on them and it actually gives people reactions because there's like all of these different or some oils, you know, the frequencies don't go together as well as some other blends. Right, so right. Um, well, and that's kind of why I brought up rosemary, not not to be, you know, uh, negative, but to like somebody who has low blood pressure and their feet are cold all the time and, and they need rosemary, but they one do. drop. Yes. You know? Yeah. So. And smelling it, like you said, inhaling it or rubbing it on your feet or even like your wrists a little bit um, isn't right. going to be as invasive to other people, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. someone else may have a reaction to rosemary. I'm just saying. Yeah. I just noticed yeah. some people really get on the oil bandwagon without the education yeah. and they're not being reverent yeah. as this is actually yeah. medicine. Right. It's not just for, oh, it smells good. It and smells good. Let's, right. Um, Correct. We're going to have to go to our first break okay. and. Um, but we'll be back in just a minute. And before we do, we're going to talk about um, a metaphysical fair that's happening here in Melbourne, Florida next Saturday. That is March 7th at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's at the Spiritualist Chapel of Melbourne. Alicia and I will both be in attendance at this fair. So you can it's $20 for 15 minutes. It's full fundraiser for the chapel. We're doing it out of the kindness of our hearts. I'll be doing Akashic Record Life Guide readings, and she'll be doing um, what we're talking about today, raising your vibration with oils and um, biosyntony, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Spiritualist Chapel of Melbourne is on 1924 Melody Lane, Melbourne, Florida, 32901. It's behind Melbourne Auditorium. You can find them on Facebook, too, Spiritualist Chapel of Melbourne. you got to go check that out. We'll be right back after this. You're listening to Space Coast Podcast, home of the greatest podcasts on the Space Coast. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor or having your own show, email us at spacecoastpodcast at hotmail.com. Space Coast Podcast. Talk hard. Hey there, this is Jesse Hull, and I want to remind you to tune into Business Elite Brevard Edition. And what we do on Business Elite Brevard Edition is bring to you some of the biggest movers and shakers on the Space Coast. These could be industry leaders, tech innovators, and social influencers. And what we do is kind of bring them on, ask them some of the most relevant questions that you may not know about. And these are people who may not be in the news, but they are making moves behind the scenes. Again, tune in. Business Elite Brevard Edition. Hey friends, Steve Vitani here, your host of the Steve Talks 321 podcast show. We are in the studio broadcasting on Facebook Live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. talking about your favorite real estate topics or anything along the Space Coast. If you have an idea for a show, send in your request live on the air. If you miss the show, don't worry, we're on 24-7 all over the world on Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, iHeart, and many other major music podcast sites on the Space Coast podcast channel. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for listening to Steve Talks 321. We are back. This is Bam, Badasses, Alchemist, Mystics, Alicia, Alicia. I almost said Alicia. <laughs> okay. Alicia Connor is in the studio here with me. I'm Trisha Schmalhofer. We are talking about raising your frequency to fight dis-ease. 
uh, which is basically an imbalance in the body and it's a lower megahertz that's bringing your your vibration down in your body so what kind of aha moments have you personally had using essential oils uh well to treat i'm i've been pretty healthy uh most of my life but i had a a situation happen where i ended up in the emergency room blood pressure bottomed out i blacked out i've never passed out in my life Mm. Uh, the next day it soared completely the opposite direction and i had promised my friends that if it wasn't textbook as it always has been, I would go to the emergency room. So I did. Came home and they had put me on three pharmaceuticals. I've never been on pharmaceuticals, so I didn't understand why my legs were aching at night. I was crying, waking up at three in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, a friend called me and said, listen, I want to introduce you. I know you've used oils. You gave them to me 15 years ago, but I don't think I've you've ever found this particular one. I said, I'd love to hear what you got to say. Well, we, I started on that journey, and within the first uh, – using uh, lemongrass within the first two months Mm -hmm. um my blood pressure uh, sorry my cholesterol which was at 309 Mm -hmm. everyone in my family overproduces cholesterol it's not a high cholesterol diet Mm -hmm. and it may have something to do a little bit with the mercury poisoning but it does follow my in my family uh but anyhow so i was able to drop it down 23 points with oils uh, because i tore up the prescription i couldn't take my legs aching anymore And I found an article that said statins deteriorate. Of course, I had to go to page 15 online, right? The first Uh pages were sponsored. And it said deteriorates muscle from the bone. That's why my femurs were aching. Yes. But And then I started on that lifelong vitality, uh, which is a game changer. That's a supplement from doTERRA? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I had plenty of vitamins. I did not need any more vitamins, you Mm -hmm. know, but, but it's loaded with oils. But anyhow, I got my cholesterol down in less than three months, 109 points. Doing oh. nothing but doTERRA. Okay. Yeah. Textbook blood pressure. So I, I'm on no pharmaceuticals whatsoever. So that was my aha moment. Mm-hmm. And I had said to my sponsor, well, don't count on me for much. I'm just trying to save my own life. And, yeah. and uh, she said, okay. Well, I had to call her back six months later and say, listen, you need to tell me more about this. I can't stop talking about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I have to know more. Now, you also, you mentioned mercury poisoning. Yes. Was that, did that lead you to biosyntony? It did. So we'll, let's put a bookmark in that and we're going to come back okay. to that story. Yes. Um, is there, is there any other? Yeah, um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the frequencies. Like for example, yes. uh, basil. And I'm so glad you brought it up about the adrenals. Yes. So uh, basil oil, I believe is 58 megahertz. Um, and so I thought, wow, basil, it's the lowest one. I love cooking with that. And it did, made such a difference in my life with adrenals. Right. Uh, and, you know, you only have so much mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, cortisol and, you know, I mean, yeah. So uh, but don't discount an oil because it has a lower frequency because it does amazing things uh, for adrenals. Because you said like a normal health f- frequency is 62 to 68. And Correct. so basil is actually 58, which is getting into a, like a cold. Yeah. However, how I kind of look at some of the lower frequency oils, if I put it, this is just me. I don't know if there's science behind this, but I'm pretty tuned into frequency. Um, sometimes if I put it in a blend, it just adds the lower notes of the spectrum. Mm. And sometimes if someone is already in a, um, a lower vibrational state using one of the lower vibrational oils is easier for them to assimilate and help them raise up just a little bit sometimes i find the higher frequency oils with someone that's kind of low yes it's almost like shocking to their system so that's how i look at um, i think bergamots on the lower Mm -hmm. end too Mm -hmm. like those oils a lot of times go into a blend i'm making and i think it's just a kind of nudge the body yeah yeah yeah. that's my well and i I have a class that i teach on adrenals specifically Mm -hmm. and i just cannot tell you how many people who had full-on adrenal fatigue using simply the basil Mm. would knock on my door six weeks later and say what a game changer Mm -hmm. this has been amazing it's yeah and when their family starts pointing it out to them not just themselves you know well and that's the thing when people start noticing a change in you that's usually yeah that's true. Gives you that heads up. So some of the other um, oils, uh, 
like, for example, frankincense, which you and I both love. It's in mm -hmm. my top three of favorite oils. And I only use doTERRA because it is pure. And I know for a fact other companies put all kinds of um, fillers, fillers in just to keep the cost down. Right. Because frankincense is not cheap. No. But to me, it's worth it because you only use like one drop one or two drop. drops. And right. it doesn't really go bad. That's like I found the, like the expiration date doesn't where other ones started to smell bad yeah so frankincense. And actually i'm glad you brought up smell because a lot of t times people will say oh but this one smells so much stronger and i go but it's not really what you're ex it's not lavender you know yeah it, it's just right additives it's it's maybe a little bit of lavender with other stuff yeah so what's yeah. the vibe uh the frequency of frankincense uh, frankincense is 147 wow uh, megahertz and rose which of course is the highest is 320 Wow. Megahertz. Rose. Right? I mean, powerful, powerful oil. And it, it's very, very expensive. But that's it because is. it takes 4,500 petals, petals. Mm -hmm. to make a, a little 5 milliliter bottle. Yeah, they, they yeah. have to press them mm -hmm. and figure what, how much oil do you get out of one rose <laughs> petal? <laughs> really? I just purchased the pure rose. Um, I brought with me in the studio today the rose touch, which is rose with coconut oil. But I just bought the pure rose and I said, you know what, darn it, I'm worth it. I'm worth yeah. the how, 200 and whatever dollars it was because my health I'm going through, through some health things right now. And I said, if I'm not going to spend this money on my health mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. then what am I doing here on this planet? Right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. And we only, uh, doTERRA only uh, does Bulgaria roses, which are the mm. highest. What they're always looking for, they're so responsible in this field as far as where they're sourcing from. Mm -hmm. So what they're looking for, oils are all about chemistry constituents. And that's what they're looking for. You know, we might grow, like, for example, Florida grows great citrus, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, lemons, oranges, grapefruits. But the highest lemon chemistry constituent is in the peel, of course, and it's from Italy, mm. not Florida. Right. So they really seek out where is the highest chemistry constituent was going to, which is going to give you the biggest delivery. Right. Yeah. Right. What's the, do you have lemons, uh? I don't, have, I don't have lemon right what now. Else do Lavender you have is 118 okay. megahertz. Uh, peppermint is 78. But as we were discussing earlier, peppermint oil, the list is so long what it does. I, I, you know what? I find um, in my practice, peppermint goes in so many blends because I find most people are okay with peppermint there's other fragrance shit fragrances people are like mm, no i don't like that but yeah. almost everyone i think i met like one or two people in my life that didn't like peppermint i've just, never met one they're just weirdos <laughs> and i told them that like you're just a weirdo but um i'm smelling peppermint right now mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites because i find that it not only uplifts but it balances the nervous system mm -hmm. so if someone's not grounding properly in my practice, and I'll, uh, I will usually put peppermint on their feet because I find it actually kind of draws energy mm. to to it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. What do you have to say about peppermint? Uh, well, I have an awful lot to say about peppermint. And I'm just going to use one 16-year-old as my example for okay. two, two extremes. Um, he couldn't take a poop. Mm. And he's crying in the bathroom, don't you have an oil for this? And I was like, I am not going in there. Mm -hmm. I rolled my peppermint beadlets under the door and told him to swallow one and burst one with his teeth so it went under his tongue. A beadlet is just a little teenty tiny glycerin. That's right. Yeah, That's with right. the it's oil not even in it. It's a quarter of a drop, actually, right. okay. of, of the actual oil in there. And uh, I threw them in my pocket and went to bring dinner to my next-door neighbor. And uh, and she's 90. Uh, and she, there, when I got to her door, there was another lady there that I didn't know that was crying. And I said, you know, you're busy. I'll come back later. Mm -hmm. She goes, no, this this woman's husband needs you. And I said, oh, well, what's the problem? Well, he's 90, uh, and he had had uh, diarrhea for like four or five days to the point where his eyes were starting to sink back in his head, and his wife was trying to get him to go to the hospital, totally dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, listen, take this whole little vial of beadlets because I want you to feel comfortable with what you're taking. You don't know me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but have your husband swallow one and burst the other one with his teeth. 7.30 the next morning, they knocked on the door. And before the wife could say anything, the husband said, is this voodoo? <laughs> I and know. I, How many times do you hear that? <laughs> I said, sir, I can reassure you that this, that is not the case at all. Yeah. What I'm doing is sharing with you what your great-grandmother would have done. 
You know, if I had a toothache, my grandmother Thank would hook you. me like a fish and she'd put a clove, a hard clove that you'd put in the ham yes. between your gum and your cheek. And it, yes, it's uncomfortable for about 10 minutes, but after 20, it numbs the entire area. You have just touched on something that I want to bring up when we come back. We got to go to another break. Okay. But this, this, grandmas, this is like remedies from the past. It is. It is. But I, I, I do want to share with you very quickly okay. that that man who came back over, was yes. because it had already stopped it's within two hours yep. of him taking the peppermint. And, of yep. course, the 16-year-old had a movement. I actually called the company and said, you know, I did that on gut instinct, but do you mind telling me why that worked? Mm -hmm. And they said, yeah, the problem was in the same place with both people. And the body knew what to do with the peppermint. Right. The body consciousness. That's right. I've talked about that a lot on this show. The body has an intelligence. That's right. So give it the tools and it knows what to do with yes, it ma'am. that is we could stop right there bam <laughs> all right so our next before the next break we're going to talk about um this is just fabulous so joanna salerno and laney laney i'm not even going to try to say your last name savante wolken okay i tried <laughs> joanna is jesse our producer's mom so Lainey and Joanna just came up with the Food Healing Oracle deck. They are actually currently doing a Kickstarter right now on kickstarter.com. If you go on there, the Food Healing Oracle deck, you can help support that so it can get launched. This deck is amazing. Talking about frequency, like the, the, the frequency of the different fresh. foods, mm -hmm. of fresh foods, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they tapped into this. They have different foods and they channeled messages for each food. And then there's a book that goes with it. And you can do like an oracle card reading with this food deck. It is amazing. I actually had the privilege of getting a reading with the prototype cards. And um, I supported this. I really encourage you. The website is foodhealingdeck.com. They have a Facebook page, the Food Healing Oracle deck, if you want to go there. Uh, Kickstarter.com, if you put in Food Healing Oracle deck, you should find. They have a couple different levels of giving where you get all kinds of cool stuff. So check it out. We're going to have Joanna on probably next month to, to feature this deck in person. We'll be right back. It's Vinny with the Vinny Marino Podcast Show. I want you to join me Wednesday evenings as we tackle all the crazy headlines and uncover what's missing. Also, we will have exciting guests from our community who have seen it all and not afraid to spill the beans about it. And finally, we can't forget about Vinny's top rants and raves about traffic, restaurants, and events. Join us on Facebook as we go live and take you behind the scenes of each show and let you be a part of it. It's the Vinny Marino Podcast Show, raw, unedited talk all the time, straight to your dome, live from the Space Coast Podcast Studios. Listen everywhere you find podcasts. Are you in the market for a new home? Perhaps you need to sell your old home and downsize or relocate. Hey there, my name is Jesse Hall with EXP Realty, and I offer professional real estate services right here on the Space Coast. Give me a call, 321-877-8737 for all of your real estate needs. Again, 321-877-8737 for all of your real estate needs. Buy, sell, invest with the best. Find out more at 321-BuySellInvest.com. Okay, we're back. This is Trisha Schmalhofer at, with Alicia Connor, and this is Bam, Badasses, Alchemists, and Mystics. Thanks for hanging with us. So we're talking about frequency. We're talking about essential oils, megahertz, the human body, uh, personal experiences with essential oils, with correcting issues. Um, 
is there before we move on to biosynteny mm -hmm. is there anything left with frequency that you really are feeling uh yes I, drawn, I, you want to share yeah i want to share a couple of things uh here's what oncologists won't tell you about essential oils uh so therapeutic grade essential oils is key uh so and they're also finding with the big c word that uh the copaiba some people say copaba other people say copaiba i mean it's a game changer for pain i i work with a lot of transitional veterans and uh they go from 10 plus 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 down to a two in like 25 minutes what do you mean 10 plus plus to oh a that's two? their pain level on a scale of one oh, to ten okay, if you pain. were to describe your pain level to me and when you say therapeutic grade essential oils, what that means is that they're tested for the certain chemicals that are known to do what they do. Is that it's what therapeutic grade means? Therapeutic grade means there's no fillers. Okay. Yeah. No fillers. And, and, and that it's what you say it is, the whatever chemistry constituent. There's no secrets there. There's no secrets. No. Okay. Yeah. So copaiba, and it's spelled C-O-P-A-I-B-A, and I think I've only seen this with doTERRA. I don't know if any other company even puts I'm, this I'm, I'm sure somebody else has one. So uh, there's only two places where it grows, and that's uh, Brazil and Venezuela. And okay. we source ours from Venezuela. God knows they need as much help as they can get. So the pain levels went down yes. by using copaiba. Mm, that's okay. right, three drops under the tongue, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how yeah. often a day do we... Would someone do that? Well, it just depends on the intensity of the pain. Uh, this particular gentleman went from uh, 10 plus 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 down to a 2. And he, he raised his, I said, in 20 or 30 minutes, I'll ask you where your pain is. He puts his hand up and he goes, ma'am, it's been 37 and a half minutes and you haven't asked me. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, okay then. Uh, mm -hmm. And he said 2. And I was like, 2? And he goes, I, I just don't know what to say. Well, let me tell you, I stopped down there every Thursday and said to him, don't tell everybody I'm here because I only go there quarterly. I said, you just come on and step out with me, and I'm going to treat you each time just because I like it. Where is this? It's right behind our place. It's oh, on the corner of that, Fee. And that veteran's assistance that's correct. place. Yeah, it's yes. like a transition Transitional, place. Right. That's wonderful you mm. go there. But anyhow, when I came back from the quarterly, now this is probably a year and a half ago, two years ago, and uh, but anyhow, I said, where is he? And they said, oh, it's a miracle. He's got He's moved to Orlando, gotten a job, and has a roommate. And I was like, what? And they said, he kept asking for your number. And I said, well, give me his. He goes, we can give yours to him or can't give you Aww. because of HIPAA and all those kind of things. Right, yeah. right. So I just wish him well, wherever you are out there. And I'm maybe, so pleased maybe for you. Maybe your paths will cross again. You, you never know, know, sometimes you never know. just God, the universe yeah. finds he a way. He had shrapnel you know? all in his right leg and said, every day he's in pain. But it, when it rained, it escalated as if somebody who had um, arthritis. Right. You know? But I want to get back to the oncologist here. Uh, okay. There, there's a book by R.O. Becker called uh, The Body Electric. And uh, I'm sure m many of our listeners have already it's talked. It's an oldie but a goodie. It is an oldie. But it, it talks about electronic frequencies determining our health. And that's kind of like what, what we're touching base on here. Uh, but he went into um, – then there's several doctors online that talk about frankincense and the amazing healing abilities that it has, especially for the big C word, if you will. And uh, But in the study, cinnamon, thyme, jasmine, and chamomile uh, all had very high results with uh, breast C uh, in particular. Mm -hmm. And uh, But here are just a couple of the using these oils in this study that they were doing. Uh, they have a testimony on a child with brain C, uh, and it was one of the toughest cases he'd ever had. And they were able to give this little girl a mixture of frankincense and sandalwood, and they rubbed the mixture on her feet while also rubbing a bit of lavender on her wrists. And only after a few months, the big C word was completely defeated. Mm. Uh, there's a stage 4 C patient, a bladder C patient, cervical, uh, breast, uh, and it tells you what they did over the months and what kind of results they got. So I don't want to say this is a magic wand. Right. Uh, but if you're going to tackle this without pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. um, which is... With, if you make that choice to go the, the natural route to fight this disease, yes. then... Well, what, it, what we're going to do at the end of this is you're going to say how to get in touch with you. So if someone even wants more information about of what course. you're talking about, um, well, why don't you say what, what is your website right now? 
uh, that they can sure. go to or a contact info. Yeah. Let's it's just throw that in uh, there now. www.mymy.doterra, D-O-T-E-R-R-A dot com slash Alicia Connor, A-L-I-S-H-A. C-O-N-N-O-R. Lovely. So why don't we move into um, biosyntony? Okay. And this is when we talk about vortexes, vortex energy. Um, there's a clockwise and a counterclockwise, correct? Yes, that's correct. So yeah. which one's the one we want? Uh, counterclockwise, okay. vortex energy. It's kind of like which direction do you sleep? You know, everybody sleeps with their head in a different direction mm -hmm. uh, and sleep better than when they change their room around, you know. So uh, biosynthony is a uh, ceramic uh, discs that have crystals in it that a French physicist created. I'm going to hold um, one up. It's just like a little disc mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for those on camera. And that's uh, one of the stones that goes on my fuse box. So I'm neutralizing man-made energy that's coming in through my fuse box. And we all know we're getting overloaded, right, between our laptops and our uh, – how about the booster that the uh, phone company is so eager to give you? Right. Uh, right? We've got the 5G. you got more towers happening and the 5G, big, big, bad business, bad big business. energy – transmitting towers going in that's right yeah that's right. and people yeah. that are energetically sensitive which seems like everybody nowadays it's we're really having a hard time more and more people because yeah. we're all transitioning right yeah so everyone has gotten in touch with that sensitivity yeah. which is um, i feel like eventually we'll probably mutate and be able to deal with it but how many people are, are going to go crazy or die before that happens? You yeah. know, how many generations is it going to be before we can handle it? Yeah, I don't know. So the EMFs, um, Wi-Fi frequency, so that's all in clockwise? The, I don't know that answer, and that's a good oh, question. Okay. I don't know that. I don't know if that's the interference that it sets you off of your counterclockwise mm. uh, vortex energy. I know the first time I heard of this, I, I was like, what planet am I on? You know? I didn't get it at all, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, you, it's a non-invasive, you, you lay on your back on mm -hmm. my treatment table, and I have to be very precise where I place them, everything has to be very evenly spaced, uh, and there's blood, lymph, and bone stones, and within the first three minutes, I put my head down on your stomach to listen, mm -hmm. and immediately I, I hear the gurgle, there's only been one patient ever that I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. uh, from her and I just assumed she was probably her contract was probably coming to a close mm -hmm. uh, so the gurgle what do you and I know in what I do with the gurgling in the stomach is but for the biosyntony what's that indicating it's already spinning it, it, we're, we, we've got a touchdown happening okay yeah we're, we're connected and the stones are precisely placed uh, and their head is to the north uh -huh. and uh, I know I've got their home secured or my home my treatment room is really where I prefer to do things because I, I've got it secured. And when you say secured, there are certain discs that go on the, the um, fuse box, fuse box mm. to counteract to the energy, right? Yes. So you have them on the table and you're putting the discs mm. and so the gurgle is saying, okay, things are moving the way they should be moving. That's correct. Okay. And, um, and then what It's a 20 then? minute treatment. You yeah. can only have one a week. And you have to drink a tremendous amount of water. Okay. Uh, with biosynthony. Does it does it because uh, it does it cause a detox response in the body? No. And I'm going to step out here on this. Not everyone's ready for this information, but step it, out. All right. Well, this we, is we'll badasses <laughs> alchemist mystic. I think people are ready to all step right, out. All right. Good. Thank you, sister. <laughs> um, so everyone has been trained to believe that your memory is in your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and. Your brain has so many functions, it's wild. But really, it's the water in your body mm -hmm. that holds memory. I've actually heard this before. Okay, so yeah. continue. So if you will continue, like if, let's just say that your normal is you drink four bottles of water a day. I need you to drink eight mm. so that it keeps treating you through. Yeah, we both need a sip of water. <laughs> And so it continues to keep treating you through the week until I can see you again. So the discs yeah. put a, a frequency in there or it changes the memory in the water? It's got, well, it's 
it has implant it has made an imprint on you with a treatment and reset your counterclockwise vortex energy. Okay. What I'm doing is trying to get that to hold. And uh-huh. the more water, it's going to remember the treatment you just had the and more tr- water. continue to treat you through that entire week. Interesting. I'm sure everybody has seen the frozen droplets. Oh, yeah. And I don't remember Hitler's, the man's name. Uh, I love the speech watch. was played to it. It turned black. And when Mother yes. Teresa's speech was played yeah. to it. So that's a droplet of water that's frozen. And mm-hmm. that's probably the best example to help people understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Is if the droplet of frozen water can actually change its physical being Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. simply by a voice speaking to it Mm -hmm. uh, and the frequency behind the voice the intent behind the voice or the music or the yes mm -hmm. yes so it's kind of like that Mm -hmm. so i it's important that you keep drinking more water so that your body continues to treat itself until the seven days are up okay take your sip of water right now (laughs) so something you mentioned oh by saying that the head needed to be north because yes. of the magnetic field of the earth the north is the the magnetic it, that's the positive pole i think yeah and of course you know you, i have a compass that i use constantly since mm-hmm. we, we are shifting and yeah uh, we are yeah yeah we're so shifting what the earth was north is fi- where the shifting. sun was coming up is not where it's coming yeah up right now. i noticed that just mm-hmm. by the placement in the sky that's right um we got to go to one more break okay sure and uh Time's flying. I'm enjoying every minute of it. We must be in the counterclockwise vortex. <laughs> <laughs> so for before we go to the last break, I'm going to talk about Med Healers, which is my company. And um, right now I'm featuring Life Guide Mentorship. And I do a lot of things at Med Healers. I do craniosacral therapy. I do something called soul realignment, which is Akashic Records. But right now I am highlighting my Life Guide Mentorship program, which you can work with me with one reading. We can do a three-month period where you have me full on to help you guide you through a part of your life. Uh, either healing or career or relationship or whatever you're trying to change. And I also offer intensives where I'll come and work with you for three days to five days at a time, or I am doing life guide retreats. So if you are interested in any of these, and if retreats, we can even bring in other people and create our own retreat. We'll like build our own because I have a lot of knowledge and I know a lot of cool people too. That's so true. if, and everyone seems to want retreats right now. So let's build one specifically to what you want or what your group, either business group, friend group wants. So that's med healers, seven, seven, two, five, five, nine, one, nine, nine, three or medhealers.com. Get in touch. We'll be right back. All right, all right. This is Doug Monda. This is Karen Monda. And Chris Hadaway. And we're the host of Survive, the new podcast brought to you by the Survive First Foundation, a nonprofit organization assisting first responders and their families in need of mental health support due to the lifestyle of being a first responder. So, Chris, tell us what we're going to have. We're coming to you from retired and active law enforcement officers as well as their spouses to discuss the responder life. Don't forget, this is an unedited and raw podcast, so we need your interactive suggestions and advice to help us help others. So find us live on our Survive First Facebook page and join in the conversation, or find us on demand on Spotify, iTunes, or anywhere you listen to podcasts from the Space Coast Podcast Network to you. All right, we're back. This is Trisha Schmalhofer here with BAM, Badasses, Alchemists, and Mystics. And Alicia Connor and I are here talking about change in frequency, biosyntony, 
counterclockwise vortexes, all that cool stuff. So how did you find biosynteny? I don't, I hadn't heard of it before I met you. Well, actually, I had been to um, a holistic uh, doctor who um, I couldn't figure out what was going wrong with me. This is many, many 25 years ago. And uh, she informed me that I had heavy metal poisoning, specifically mercury poisoning. Okay. And you measure heavy metal toxicity on a scale of 1 to 21 in the human frame. And I was at 17. And she oh. was surprised I hadn't dropped into MS mm. uh, or um, had a stroke. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, of course, I went home and wrote my will that night. Very disturbing information. <laughs> that is. And, but on the journey of doing darks and lights and homeopathy and anything I could get my hands on, um, my thing was, where did I get this from? You know. And for me, being a ginger, uh, freckled, therefore lacking of melanin, um, for me, it was from my silver fillings, my silver amalgams. And I had more dental work. I just, that was the hereditary uh, mm-hmm. teeth uh, but my sister has jet black hair and brown eyes and olive and sh- she didn't went to the same dentist of course and did not have these issues so mm. I'm not quite sure about that but anyhow uh, I had a friend from Miami that said to me listen I need you to get in your car and drive to Gainesville right now I, she said you just have to do it right this minute I said what well, where am I going she goes I don't even know where you're going yet just trust me on this go I'm going to get you in to see a mercury specialist because uh, here everybody was just scratching their heads. The regular doctors don't even understand what that means. Mm. Uh, they don't even test for it. Uh, right. You know, they don't ask for urine creatinine tests to tell you really what your kidney and liver are doing, you know. But anyhow, I went uh, up there, and her niece had just taken her two children. They had just been vaccinated. Of course, parents take all their kids at the same time, right? They're not going to make separate appointments. And both children started seizing uncontrollably. The little boy in particular was having 25 to 30 seizures a day. He had one, she called it a stone treatment. He had one stone treatment and went to three a day. And I said, really? So I hot-tailed it up there, met Dr. Hannock Talmore, and uh, started having biosynthesis stone treatments. Didn't make any sense to me that he was putting things that look like poker chips underneath me. Yeah. <laughs> and the, but it really Again, fun. It's, uh, they're like little discs. I'm going to hold them up. Right. I'm going to just spell biosynthesis because it's spelled different for people that are just listening yes. on the well, podcast. it's French. Yeah, it's capital B I O, capital S Y N T O N I E. Uh, B I O S Y N T O N I E is the singular, and I biosyntonics uh, oh, for the plural. Oh, okay. Biosyntony and biosyntonics. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you corrected me. So, so anyhow, the discs. Uh, and and she arranged for me to stay with her niece and family, so I got to meet these children personally and see what was how violent these seizures uh, were. Anyhow, to make a long story short, after uh, a year of driving back and forth to Gainesville, uh, on at least every other week, if I could get it in there, uh, I could see a difference, and my test results were coming back differently. Mm. So I already knew that something was happening for the good. And Dr. Talmore said to me, tell me about your mother. And I said, my mother? And he said, yeah, you're just not the average bear. And I said, well, my mother wouldn't let us eat out of Teflon or aluminum pots or pans. We couldn't eat canned things. We weren't allowed to drink soda. We were the only kids with carrot sticks when everybody else had funny bones in their lunch pail. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he said, you know, I'm going to offer something to you. I want you to come and study under me for the next year and a half. And he said, I usually. Wow. I know. I know. I was flabbergasted. And he said, I usually only ask backdoor doctors. I said, I don't know what that means. He goes, well, acupuncturists, chiropractors, you know. <coughs> and I said, oh, Okay. So I excelled at it. I had to hire an interpreter because uh, the French physicist who created it w- uh, taught many of the classes himself when he was in the country, and I didn't understand a word of what he was saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but my passion uh, from being with Dr. Talmore and working under him, I could not believe the difference he was getting with autistic children. Okay. And there was one little girl in particular who, now I'd seen her there constantly, uh, her parents would fly down and, and stay for 10 days so they'd get two treatments in and then go back to Michigan and uh, back and forth. But um, the third uh, treatment, this child became audible. And she had not been, since 18 months uh, to three and a half years old, she had not spoken. Uh, primal. Uh, and that's what came out. Was It was guttural. It, w- it wasn't, hi, mom, how are you? But it was 
the parents both started crying because it was something verbal it was some kind of verbal she was communication in there. yeah and, and many times with autism you're, you're just not sure is there anybody in there mm -hmm. you know uh it depends on the, the level of it and all right like that. the autistic spectrum um is so varied now so it's varied. so huge yeah. um yeah. but yeah and how many years ago was this that you well studied? i've been treating autism uh, autistic children now for 20 years okay so this was 24 and years ago and 20. 24 years ago it we didn't know oh, hardly the numbers, anything the numbers about were it were not what they are right, right. Now and either. the ones that were seeking the children that were seeking treatment were probably some of the ones that were very severely yes autistic but yeah i've been so. elated uh with uh treating children in particular mm -hmm. and uh i i remember one time uh the mother told me it, it mild case well it was not mild at all and i i had to distract him to get him through the whole 20 minutes and said i'm going to count backwards i want you to repeat after me right in the middle of it he reached out and grabbed my forearm mm -hmm. and started laughing and the mother started crying mm -hmm. i said you know listen mom can you hold it together back here <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is your son's treatment you know right and she said he hasn't touched anyone or laughed i haven't heard him laugh in two years so mm -hmm. it was already starting you know but what i did find fascinating and i hope i don't disturb anybody there i know every single parent on this planet would only do what's right for their children and what they're guided to do and you have to follow your heart on this but out of my first hundred patients i had a survey i'm a survey person you know i'm going to figure out parkinson's next although they all seem to only have one thing in common so far but that's another day mm. um so uh in my survey i needed to find out um stuff is this your first child third child right uh, natural birth home birth uh uh, vaccinations in the hospital uh, try you know, to find a correlation yes yeah yes and uh, out of the first 100 th the first 98 basically said to me no I can tell you the minute my child changed and it was within this many hours now it wasn't always the MMR but those three sh should be broken up uh, I mean they're just deadly together mm -hmm. but some docs are well or is it that the thimerosal that's in every vaccination mm. in this country, including the flu shot, mm -hmm. which is a mercury derivative. It's a preservative, so that they can have a seven-year shelf life. Well, there were only two mothers that said, nope, my baby was different right from the beginning. Okay. And I said, well, that bothered me. I thought, well, that's there's no consistency here then. If mm -hmm. I can't get 100 out of 100, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but anyway, I, the one mother just was adamantly, she was disturbed by the whole thing and, and really uh, was wanting to blame anybody for her family situation, which I completely understand. The other mother, I woke up at three in the morning and sat straight up in my bed and I said, she must have had a cesarean. And so I, I called her and I said to her, is there any chance your child was born with a cesarean? She goes, yeah, but how could you possibly know that? I said, well, you told me you signed papers for them not to be vaccinated, your child not to be vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And yet he is displaying the characteristics of the last 98, 99 mm -hmm. children I've treated. And uh, sh she said, uh, it was cesarean. And I said, well, is there any chance while they were sewing you up that someone could have vaccinated your child? Well, let me tell you, she went on a wild mission. And she called me back four months later and said the head nurse did vaccinate her child and that she was suing the hospital. And she, wow. I mean, it was big. You know, but it, there was consistency there. Mm. Now, was it people who, uh, you know, I don't want to tell people to not listen to your doctors, but I think you need to look at what's in them. Right. In these vaccines and see the movie Vaxxed. Yeah, I did. If, if yeah. you have a chance. Yeah. It's a pretty powerful movie. Yeah. Uh, and I knew a lot of it, but I still cried through it. Well, and because now you have seen, when things really sink into your being, because you've seen how biosynteny has helped these children, yes, um, it just, it becomes a passion. Yes. And I think it's fabulous you're, you're going to work with Parkinson's next because there's obviously things happening to the neurological system yes. with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And MS. And MS, MS is, is on metal. a rise. Lupus also. Metal. And I don't know if lupus is, that's another one that was on the rise. Um, and then the autism spectrum. So there's is there something that's a common thing there. Yeah. And so, and to see if the discs, the biosynteny discs work. Yeah. And they do. So 
it depends. I usually have like it can have a single treatment just to see what it's like because you know mm-hmm. it's an odd word and odd. You know, this is don't forget this is very big in Europe. Okay, and, and there's only two hundred of us here in the United States. Oh, so most okay. Americans are like, bio what? Yeah, what yeah. is that? Well, so we, we're coming to a close. So if someone wants to get a biosyntony or biosyntonics yes, that's right. um, session with you mm-hmm. just to see, does it make a difference? Yeah. Um, and how can they get in touch with you? Well, my cell is 321-426-5392. 321-426-5392. And my email is Alicia CC, A L I S H A C C at earthlink.net. And that's that's who you are. That's who I am. And usually you said you usually and put oils in with your session as well. Yeah, I do. I do. I always have them diffusing like vetiver is amazing for autism. Uh, oh, OK. But I don't just treat autism, you know. Oh, I, no. Yeah, right. Any. Yeah. I mean, but if this you're not if your vortex is not in a counterclockwise and I mean, how many people may yeah. not be or sometimes they're not. Yeah. So and people always have sensation wherever they need healing. So mm. if they say to me, I don't, my right eye just keeps blinking like this, and I'll say, well, what's going on? Oh, well, I scratched it four days ago. Right. You know, that kind of thing. The body will let you know. That yeah. body consciousness, yes. right? Yes. All right. Well, we are out of time, and thanks so much for everyone for watching and listening or catching the replay. Can I add one more thing? Quick. I just want you to know that there are uh, oils with doTERRA that are as little as $10. Okay, and, and and then of course frankincense. We've mentioned that. Oh, we rose. mentioned the expensive <laughs> yeah. ones, but yeah, yeah, there are some that are that actually are on the yeah, that's right. they're that's affordable. Right. So, all right, well, thank you. We'll see you next time on Bam Badasses Alchemist Mystics.